Bonjour mes amis, my name is Freya and welcome back to The Sapling. Thank you so much for being patient with me while I was doing the CCSF stuff and while I took about a month to recharge. I am back and I'm hoping to upload at least once a week now. If I seem like I'm holding my arm at a weird angle, it's because I've drawn a Dideridex class Romulan Warbird on my arm and I'm waiting for the henna to dry. During the time I've spent not playing, you guys have given me a lot of suggestions, but there's one that really caught my eye from Captain Two Obscene 104 who said, maybe you could try to get an animal adapted to life on land to adapt to life at sea, like how whales, manatees, pinnipeds, and mosasaurs have in the past. So I'm gonna give that a go. Also, taking a month off probably gave the devs some time to fix some of the bugs. I am going to use a smaller map since this doesn't require any geographic separation. Ah, there's the flat map view. Yes, I think this will work quite nicely. I don't want anything too harsh. I know you guys have said that um, you really want to see me do some harsh climates, and I will, but not for this one. I'm sorry, I'm sure it's annoying that like I insist on changing only one variable at a time. I feel like it's probably annoying because I know it annoys me. Okay, let's start with microalgae. I think it's interesting that the microalgae requires relatively deep water. I can't put it in that lake, for instance. When in reality, microalgae will grow on pretty much anything, even if it's only damp in my experience. Okay, so I'm going to try to make a plant that does survive on land, but maybe doesn't do the greatest to give the animals some incentive to move to the water where perhaps food would be more plentiful. How's that? It's got like, um, kind of limited patches that it can grow in. I think that'll work. Let me make sure everything can mutate. And I will crank the animal mutation chance up to 25 so that we can actually see some results when we get there. For now, let's skip ahead 250 years to let everything get established. Ooh, this is new! Grass! Oh, I heard there was gonna be grass in an update. Oh man, that's neat! Okay, cool! Yeah, I hadn't seen that yet! Awesome! Okay, so let's make our soon-to-be aquatic creature. To increase the odds of it actually going into the water, I'm going to give it um, these limbs, which give better speed in water than in land in the first place. Inland? On land, <laughs> sorry. That way, the only thing it would necessarily have to evolve would be the mouth, which controls what it breathes. Okay, this appears to be the first land-dwelling mouth in the main chain here. The dev has changed a few things. Oh, field of view! That's interesting! Cool. And what color do we want you? We could do blue. Since we're, um, making you destined for the water. Hopefully. Your mission should you choose to accept it. Oh, it can't walk, its feet don't touch the ground. You were too hefty, I'm sorry. Oh, now you look kind of like a slug. Can I shorten you a little? There we go, okay. Breathes air, can move in water and on land can lay eggs in either. I think that's a that's a good starting condition to uh, try to get to our target. Okay. Well, um, let's just give it um, 250 years to get established, and then we'll take a look. Wait, one aquatic animal species. That was remarkably easy. Hello? They all appear to have the same mouth, so maybe the aquatic one went extinct. You changed color, though. You're very pretty. Do I actually... Ah, you're in the water. But can you breathe the water, or are you just there? You're just there, okay. And the, uh... Centering the creature on the screen still is not particularly... Great. <laughs> That's okay. Let's give it another 250, see what happens. 
Okay, zero aquatic animal species. So one appeared but didn't last. Do we have any macroalgae? Maybe that's why. I just sort of assumed that the um, microalgae would evolve into- No, it has, it has. Okay. Yeah, they're still just holding their breath. Which, I mean, I suppose technically is what um, whales do. But they, uh, they move in and out of the water, these guys. So we want something that is, like, actually aquatic. What if we give it a thousand years? Oh no, is the new time skip interface too too heavy for my computer to do a thousand years at a time? At least there's an interrupt button now. I'll just be patient. See if any of my henna's dry. I don't think it's working. Neither is the interrupt button. That's okay. It wouldn't be an indie game without a few bugs. Let's go. Ah, autosave. Lovely. That's good because I did not remember to manually save once that entire time. Okay. Where are we at? 950 years total. That's a new plant structure, too. Haven't seen that before. Oh, Vorlon got a swanky new tail. I love horror lips. That's what I get when I uh, put on lipstick, but my lips are dry. So this says peak three aquatic animal species, but I don't see any. But it says 0% aquatic animal species extinct. Then again, um, the epoch is still going on, and I don't actually know how it classifies different epochs. I'm just gonna speed it up the old-fashioned way real quick. Get through the first millennium. There may be nothing to do but wait. Like, the game seems to be of the opinion that I do have aquatic creatures, but I can't find any of them. They all use the mouth I gave them initially. So the only thing for it is to just keep being patient, I guess. See, that, that says one aquatic animal species. So. I thought they were all extinct. I was like, where did they go? Just took a while to load. Okay. That's new. I don't think that's aquatic, but it's a new mouth, all right. Yeah, that's not aquatic. Verticus. I mean, we could just have, like, semi-aquatic creatures. Like, you know, seals. But it's still not quite what I was going for, you know? I want something that lives in the water exclusively. I suppose I don't necessarily care if it breathes water or air. Because, I mean, whales and other cetaceans breathe air. So that's not a, a requirement. But these things definitely move on both land and water. Let's go another 250. It's gotten much faster, too. Maybe I should have given them a mouth further up in the chain, but all the mouths further up were already aquatic, you know? That one got extra eyes. You were truncated. That's a new mouth. What is that? Zalus. Still a land mouth. Actually, even worse at breathing water. Oh. I wasn't ready to see the snack sack again. What about you, Votatops? You're extinct, but you have a different mouth. Not, no, not. This is the same one as the last one. Dang it. I do think I need to go more time. Let's do 500 if we can't do 1,000. I'm very curious to know how that menu determines what constitutes an aquatic species, because as far as I can tell, it has nothing to do with whether it actually breathes um, air or water. Of course, it's all probably written in a devlog somewhere that I haven't watched. I did look at some of them. See, look at this creature. This looks like it could easily be aquatic, but it's, it's not. What if I mutate one of them to a different land mouth? Hang on, I just want to back up here and show you this. Maybe there's like an easier path towards an aquatic mouth. Let's see. Okay, so these give land and a significant amount underwater, but they bear resemblance to certain cetacean mouths, like this one is a blowhole. So maybe that's the route I should be trying to go, which means I should have gone with this one? Oh, which some of them may already have. 
because it's very similar in structure to the previous one, so I might not have noticed in the um, population panel. So if I give you that, if I swap out those legs, what if I give you these duck feet that'll be faster in the water? That looks really silly, actually. Let me, um... Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna do the duck feet, they look really silly. What if I give you these fins in addition to some... In addition to some legs that work on land. Oh, ah. You have got to turn into something aquatic. There's no way. I won't allow it otherwise. Okay, so if we get a true aquatic mouth or... If we get one of the uh, cetacean-like mouths, I'm gonna plonk a bunch of you down here. I should have made them a different color. Dang it! Didn't think. Two hundred fifty years. Let's go. Oh no! It's stuck again. And I didn't save. That's okay. I can give it a different color this next time. Okay. To make you stand out against the blue, we will make you. Orange. Does that work? I think that works. I'm going to save manually. And let's go 250. Zero aquatic, but did they survive? I don't think they survived because I've got it sorted by birth year, but sometimes that messes up, so let me sort it by amount. Don't show me anything extinct. What is that on your head? Come back to you. Oh, wait, are you the one I made last time? It might be. Maybe it did save. I would know for sure if I had- Ah! Remember to change the color. You are still around. Good, good, good. Okay, so what was up with you? What is that on your head? Can I edit you to see what that is real quick? Oh my god, I think I know what it is. You are kidding. You're kidding me. It's... It's nipples. You have eight nipples on your face. I love biology. Alright. Give me a thousand, since I'm now convinced that the, uh, crashing and sticking has nothing to do with the length of time I try to jump. There we go. It's trying. You've got new eyes. Oh, you look funky. Are my orange boys gone? I think I've lost my orange boys. Okay, you though. You're still alive. I'm pretty sure this is the one I tried to make at some point. Yeah, it is, it is. You can see the, the big jump in the family tree there. That's got to be my doing. Okay, let me find the orange one. Looking at the extinct animals. And I will see if it had any descendants that maybe just changed color. It did have descendants, but none of them made it. Why did you die? Mostly died of old age, eaten, or suffocation. Suffocation. Now that's interesting. Um, maybe they went into the water because they were more mobile there, swam out too far, couldn't get back to land in time? I don't know if they can surface to breathe air the way whales can. If so, that might make going for the cetacean mouths difficult. Okay, I'm not giving up just yet. I'm gonna turn off mutation for plants. Now, how many plant species do we have? 12 pages? That's a little excessive. I'm gonna start getting rid of some of them. These are the most abundant ones. Hopefully that will put increased pressure to move to the sea. 2,500? Is that too much? I don't know, we'll find out.
I really want to know what it defines as an aquatic animal species. If any of you actually happens to know, please let me know down in the comments. Well, those eyes on their sides seem to have become quite prevalent. Although I think the face nipples have transformed into something else. Oh, look at you! And you glow, that's neat. Oh my goodness! Oh, this one hibernates, that's neat! Alright, one more thing I'd like to try. Obviously, the time jump feature has gotten a significant update, so I want to see if my computer can handle 20,000 years. That's actually progressing faster than I thought it would, but I'm gonna grab my book anyway. Oh! Oh, it worked! Whoa. <sighs> okay, uh, cool. Not what I was going for at all, but very cool. But nothing that looks truly aquatic. See, I thought that the biggest roadblock would be needing them to evolve multiple things at a time. For instance, the ability to move in water at the same time as the ability to breathe in water, which was why I decided to give them the ability to move in water in the first place to start off, making them closer to seals than anything else. However, none of them seemed to have evolved the ability to breathe underwater, and exclusively that, um, as opposed to just holding their breath when they go down. And I cannot think of any particular factor that I might have missed that they would still need that's preventing them from becoming truly aquatic. If any of you guys can think of what it is I missed, please let me know. Because jumping ahead 20,000 years was my last idea. I thought maybe I just hadn't given random chance enough tries. I mean, that's not to say I couldn't jump again but I don't think my computer would thank me for it so yeah give me your ideas I'll give them a shot next time I try this particular challenge I will probably do something else entirely though the next time I play it but I will come back to this eventually for now that's gonna do it for this video so thank you everybody so much for watching if you enjoyed let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys later bye